Yo, um, good morning, um, YouTube. It's like around two o'clock in the morning, and I'm at home, and um, yeah, I feel like a little crazy, but I just got finished watching um Netflix. When they see us on Netflix, it's really good. It's about the South Central uh, Park Five. This. Central Park Five, you know, if you're not familiar with the case, real quick, briefly, five young kids were accused of between the ages of, I believe, 14 and 15, were accused of um, sexually assaulting a jogger, a white jogger. These are five black kids, one Hispanic, uh, in Central Park, and were wrongfully accused of sexually assaulting this white female jogger. And we're done, you know, I'm not going to go into all of that because you can Google it. You can find out the information and everything like that from the story. But, um, yeah, it, 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 I'm, I, I'm outraged. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you know, when, when, do, when does this stop? It's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. We are people of color have to understand. Yo. We just, it, it is what it is going to be with us. You know what I'm saying? And by me watching, I couldn't even watch all of it because I was just so outraged at the first part of it by me being a mother, a woman of color for one, and a mother of sons, girls, whatever the case may be, and how the justice system just like fucks over our people like they've been doing forever it's just like they make up laws and rules as it goes along and i was just outraged i'm angry i'm mad i'm emotional about this yes it needs to be the story needs to be told and i don't care how many times you're going to tell it tell it, it awful and you know tell it so our children our younger generation our children can see what goes on out there that we are always going to be at war with those folks and I hate to sound racist because, I mean, but it is what it is at this point. Yeah, it is what it is at this point. I mean, off of a lie, you destroyed families. You broke up homes. You destroyed boys, little boys, and, and, and you destroyed their manhood. You know, they locked them away like animals. And, 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 and by me working in the justice system, okay, I am a correctional officer. And, you know, this is a job. You know what I'm saying? But it's... It's hard because I see, I see how, what happens when you come into a setting like this. That's why I tell our young people, stay out of this. Okay, I'm going to give you a mistake. You make a mistake. Okay, fine. You make a mistake. You know, learn from your mistake and stay out the system. The system ain't fair. The system not right. It's not right. It's designed for us to fail. It is slavery. The system is our chains. The system is our bondage. This is how they get us. They want to conquer and destroy. That's what the enemy comes to do, to conquer and destroy. And watching these five young men, oh my gosh, it brought tears to my eyes what they went through as children, all at the hands of racist, prejudiced, corrupt people, evil people that would do this to a child, children. They don't give a Fuck. They don't give a fuck about this. They don't like us. Y'all need to understand that. And I'm going to have to sit up for this one. They don't like us. And when I say that, you already know who I mean. They don't give a fuck about us. All they want to do is destroy. And they get mad. They want to be like us. But they don't give a fuck about us. They can't stand us. They would never like us. I don't know care how close you think that we are to them. Oh, that's my dog. That's my boy. No, we're not. At the end of the day, we are. No, no, no. I don't trust them folks. They make up laws as it, it, according to them. They change the laws. They make them up according to them. They do what the fuck they want to do to us, people of color. And us as a people of color, we need to understand this and open up our eyes and see we need to do better. And I've been saying this forever. We need to do better. We need to stick together as a whole, as a whole community, as a group, as a, just as, as us. Because it's us against them. And that's how it's always going to be. And I think we have forgotten. And that's why our, our young people need to understand. Stay out. 
I can't. I, I'm just upset. I'm just upset. So yeah, go check out Netflix. Um, when they see us, real powerful story about the uh, Central Park Five, what they went through, their journey in prison when they came home, but they came home to a whole new different world. Corey Wise was the 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 oldest because he was, I think, at the time, I think, fifteen or sixteen, and they put that little boy in Rikers Island. Now, and, and you know, and he had some challenges. You know, he wasn't as swift, so he had some challenges. And brothers, the brothers, the brothers, instead of taking that baby in, making sure that he was all right. To the brothers in the system that prey on the weak. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. To the brothers in the system that prey on the weak. The young. The ones who can't defend themselves. Y'all punk ass bitch ass niggas. I see it. I see you. I work around that shit. Yeah, I'm getting real emotional because I can't stand that shit. You're supposed to uplift each other. You, and and, and you, you take the young. When they willing to, you know. Because sometimes the young can be disrespectful. But you're supposed to take them and guide them. Not prey on them. You weak, sick bastards. That's who the fuck y'all are. You like, you this color. But you want to step on another man's toes. I don't, I don't, I don't, nah. I do not fuck with motherfuckers that prey on the weak. People who can't defend themselves. Fucking bully ass, bitch ass niggas. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Cause that's how the fuck I feel. You ain't got nothing coming. I see that shit. I see it. I see it. And I look at them and I turn my nose up. Cause I know what you're doing. I see you. I see you. And, you know, in this one brother story, I mean, he was the only one that was kept 100 and was real truthful and really went in depth with his story. The longest, yeah, I say he was the, he wasn't, he wasn't as swift as the other four. But he did the longest time. And it was because of his humbleness and what he went through that the other man who did really did the rape. Been seeing this nigga for years and he just he decided to give his life over to Christ. So now he wanted to confess to all the stuff that he did because he felt bad for this dude that he knew was still in there. Now mind you, Corey could have got out. All he had to do was say, Yeah, okay, I changed my life. I shouldn't have did it. I'm gonna do things. That's what the parole, the parole board wants you to admit that shit. But he said, I'm not fuck y'all. I didn't do it. I'm not admitting to it. I would do life in this motherfucker as opposed to me saying I raped that woman when I did not. And he would have probably did life had this dude not confessed. And his prison state was not the best. He was brutalized. He was by the COs, by the by other inmates, by the Aryan nation. This young man was tortured from the time he was 16. And things was done to him, God knows what. That the, the average person could not endure. But he did. He did. His physical endured it. His mental. Yeah, he got some millions. It's not going to give you back. Whew. It was deep. Check it out, y'all. Netflix. Because I could just go on and on and keep rambling. But it hurts my heart. Because that could have been my son. My nephew. My brother. Your son. Your nephew. Your brother. We got to do better. We got to protect the babies. We got to protect the babies. From them devils. That's what the fuck they are. And their day is coming. Their day is coming. The first shall finish last. And the last shall finish first. Alright y'all. I'm going to go ahead on. Yes. Continue to watch Netflix. Peace out.